Welcome. I want to welcome you to Module 5. And the title of Module 5 is Implementation Application of Your Evidence-Based Practice Quality Improvement Processes. Now, right under this, you, as you follow through with me, uh, we dedicate this module to just what that title implies. As you proceed through this module, and if you have any questions, please remember to um, talk to your faculty who was assigned to the course at this time for you. Now, you're going to see some outcomes. There are outcomes, and this is all the way through the course. Uh, there are outcomes for particular modules, and then there are outcomes related to the course itself. So the outcomes for this module kind of are your guiding posts, if you will. And you're going to see the first one that says, describe translation research model to guide implementation of evidence-based practice. That sounds like a mouthful. What we're wanting you to do, and if you recall back way, way back in module one, you were introduced to what translational research was all about. Well, now we're going to go a little bit deeper into that to really help you understand just the bare bones of what translation science is all about and how we actually use it to guide our evidence. Then we're going to hook into that ethical issues. Now, ethics have probably been woven throughout the course, but we're really going to focus a, a lot of, about ethics in Module 5. So you need to dust off the covers of your memory banks and go, OK, oh my gosh, ethics. What are some ethical principles? Um, what are some ethical philosophies? So it might not hurt you if you need to, to kind of review some of those. However, we've given you some reading to help support that. So we're going to look at discussing ethical issues that impact evidence-based practice, quality improvement, and that thing called translational science. There's always a cost to the participant. No matter what we do, how we manipulate things, we always have to keep ethics in mind. And ethics, as I tell my students in the undergraduate program, are becoming more and more complex as we move forward. The ethical dilemmas you're going to deal with in your practice compared to what I had to deal with in my own, and I've been in nursing 40 years, um, is going to be tremendously more complex for you than it is for me. It's one of the prices I believe we pay for moving our science forward. There are issues I won't even have dreamed about that you're going to have to face. And certainly um, the pandemic uh, that we are experiencing now is certainly forcing our hands to look at more ethical issues. The third uh, outcome for this module is to analyze the importance of quality improvement as the foundation for evidence-based practice implementation. And finally, we're going to describe strategies and sustainability of EBP or evidence-based practice. So let's move it forward. Uh, you can see how these outcomes are linked to course outcomes in your syllabus. I won't read those to you, but you can read those. All of this is in support of, all the module um, outcomes are in support of your course outcomes. So let's go down your checklist because this is a thing that's going to, we're going to ask you to do. First of all, uh, we're going to provide you two articles that really talk about and describe what translational research is all about. Um, and they're very good articles, and I think they get to the point very quickly. You can certainly go to your R2 library, put in translation science, and actually you will see that. That's one of the options I have found, a textbook that does a very nice job of that. Also, though, there is a very nice article that's a little more succinct than that. If you, I know uh, reading is kind of difficult sometimes. But on top of those two articles, I think that you will find that will really help go, OK, I get it now. There are two YouTube presentations. They're between two to five minutes long each. And I think they'll give you a nice application of how we use translational science. One of those examples takes you through uh, how we take uh, a medication from uh, the science, from the benches, if we say, right on through to actual application, actual use of that. And that's a great way of translation science. From bench, from the science, from what we have learned from research, all the way through to the patient care aspect. A lot of times, many, many um, of our studies, our research studies, are sitting in books. They're not being used. So that's why translation science came into being, to get your, your, the research that we've done moved from the bench, as they say, straight directly into patient care. But safety is always paramount with this. 
Our second task then, we switch gears a little bit and we're helping you understand and connect evidence-based practice to ethical principles and issues. And so these two um, articles really help you to kind of think about wow, I never thought about ethically, it says quality improvement, so we automatically think everything's safe, but is it really safe? Is it really ethical what we are doing? So those are two things that I think you'll find very helpful. The third task is to then address um, questions posed, which are gonna be relating to an ethical issue in module five discussion board. And you can read about what you need to do there. Uh, we have then another assignment for you, and everything we do, of course, if you've noticed now, is what we call scaffolding, building on previous stuff work that you have done. So what we'd like you to do is start your synthesis table for toward a clinical practice guideline proposal that you're going to think about. And that actually is going to get, that actual work is going to be culminated in module six. But part of that poster that we're going to have you develop, and I think you can have a lot of fun doing that, is that you have to de develop a table of evidence. You're going to synthesize that table, all based on a clinical practice guideline proposal that you feel is important to future practice as an advanced practice nurse. So you will see details about that assignment, but the synthesis table is going to be based on that. And then you can move that synthesis table once we have it kind of buffed up for you and you've buffed it up for yourself, that's going to be used in, in for module six. So that's kind of nice. Finally, we wanted you to kind of um, actually work on a tool, uh, a QI tool, if you will. And we've chosen a fishbone diagram. And what we'd like you to do is go back to module two, look at your PICO question that you used in module two that you formulated there, bring that question forward and then center and focus your fishbone diagram on that PICO question. One of the bones of those fishbone diagram needs to address an ethical concern. So all we're gonna have you do is go online, choose a fishbone diagram, there's many, many free templates you can use, and then start to build that fishbone. But one of those bones needs to address an ethical concern centered on your PICO question. So those are the tasks that we're asking you to do. And I think once you finish those tasks, you'll have a better understanding of translational science and how it relates to QI and how it relates to evidence-based practice. Three very huge components, all toward theory and evidence-based practice. Again, if you have any questions, please address them directly to your faculty. Thank you.